Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My sisters and brothers, as you know, a parable is not a true story, but it represents a deeper meaning. And we may get stuck in this parable because we think that Jesus is blessing dishonesty. There's no doubt about it. The dishonest steward, in modern terms, is an operator, a shrewd businessman who wiggles his way out of a situation and knows how to think quick on his feet, enough to come out on top. So what's the point? The point of the parable cannot be understood until we grasp why Jesus is using a dishonest person as a model for Christian life. There, there's a difference between saying, I congratulate the dishonest steward because he acted shrewdly and is clever, or... I congratulate the shrewd and clever steward because he acted dishonestly. Jesus is making the point that in the spiritual life, we have to use our God-given talents of intelligence and creativity and our willingness to make things happen rather than to let things happen. The dishonest manager in this gospel today is a model for us not because he is dishonest, but because he was prudent, creative, and in a crisis had the skills to respond, not to react, to make something happen and not simply to let something happen. This hits home for us, whether you're raising a family, taking care of elderly parents, planning for the, your future as a couple, when health concerns drive your decisions, we have to believe that Jesus is active, enthusiastic to help us, joyful in our presence, hopeful that we find him, proud of our heritage and our history, creative, prudent, and most of all, the Lord wants us to be like him, to be involved. Let us today be inspired by Jesus, who is the act of God, who loves his people and calls us to be his good stewards of the earth.